In this episode, I take a road trip with two of my coworkers to Perez Celodon to assist them in purchasing a used car. With our goal to return in a used Suzuki Samurai, we boarded the bus for what would be a long journey to San Jose before making our way south. We took full advantage of our trip to the city by visiting Club Antique and exploring the local farmer's market. With the car deal complete, we made our way back to Montezuma, but not before visiting Dominical, Hako, and Crocodile Bridge. Come along on this epic 72-hour road trip as we navigate the beaches, cities, and jungles of Costa Rica. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get into the adventure. Fantastic journey to Perez de Don, starting here in Covino. I'm going with my friend Sue and G, compañeros de trabajo. And this is going to be a wild trip. First time on a buseta out here in Costa Rica for a long trip. Let's see how much room we got. So it took us just about an hour to get here on the bus and uh, we're going to get tickets for the ferry and then we're going to make our way over to Punta Reynas where we're going to catch a connecting bus to San Jose. We're going to stay there for the night and then tomorrow we're going to head on another bus down to Perez Celadon which is down all the way near Ubita. So it's like if we were to drive from Cobano, it would be almost seven hours to get there if we were to take a straight shot. So going to be an adventure and I'm looking forward to getting down there and getting this new vehicle so that G and Sue are ready to rock and roll. But now we're going to go grab tickets, food, oh you already got tickets, alright. Alright our ferry is in like another 30 minutes because it's raining super hard right now so it should make for an interesting ride to Punta Reynas. Tormenta. Hola chicos, llegamos a Punta Arenas. Okay, I think we're like 15 minutes before we catch the next bus. Alright, our journey continues. We are now at the bus station. We need to make our way to San Pedro, which, I don't know, two hours away or so. We are here in Punta Arenas. The weather is much nicer. And uh, we got our bellies full. Looking forward to this next leg of the trip. I think we're probably going to take a nap before we end at San Pedro. San Pedro, which is in San Jose, and uh, so that was a bus, a ferry, and another bus at six and a half hours, and it was about 10 bucks right here in the middle of San Jose, which actually isn't that bad. So if we didn't leave in the end of the day at four o'clock, it wouldn't have been that bad. So now we know. Oh, no gracias usted. Stay cool. 
cuarto. Oh. Wow. Okay. Alright, it's not yet 11 o'clock. Our seven hour journey is finally come to a conclusion. Oye, rico. Is that lavender? So we checked into our hotel at Lost in San Jose and I'll do a little tour of that tomorrow. Uh, but it's Friday night and as we were driving in I just heard a lot of music and a lot of vibe coming from this area and so I just had to take a step out uh, since I haven't really explored San Jose at night. So I'm just going to go take a quick look to see what's really cracking down here. This is antique right here. So I spent about an hour and a half and then it was antique and it was like an awesome bar. Had some reggaeton on the top floor, had some like house music on the bottom floor, EDM, it was dope. So I'm tired walking back to the hostel, got about 15 minute walk. Of course Subway's open. Hit the block, found some open spots. Six bucks. Yogi's. San Jose. Ooh. 1.30 in the morning. Oh, y buen provecho. What a night. What a night lost in San Jose. Okay, I just ran, returned to lost in San Jose. And I got to make a call because it's after 11 o'clock. So, good night. See you in the morning. Ciao, chicos. Alright, so we're already gonna check out. This is our spot down here, lost in San Jose. We'll see that. But I'm gonna go grab some more breakfast. I think I'm gonna go to Yogi's again. Alright, so for breakfast, we're going to Yogi's again. This is so incredible. It looks a lot different down here in the daytime. All this stuff was popping last night. Tranquilo. Sabado, la ciudad. Yogi's! Alright, so we just finished breakfast at Yogi's again. Now we're heading to the bus stop. So we can catch this bus down to Perez de Lodon, which is about three hours, three or four hours. Alright, we have our tiquetes, uh, Perez de Lodon. Uh, it costs about four mil, just over four mil. And so not bad for a three hour trip. The other bus was full, so we now have to wait two hours until the 10.30 bus which is going to get us into Perez Celadon a little later than we expected. However, it's going to get us there right when we're supposed to be. So now we're just finding something to burn these next two hours. It shouldn't be too hard. All right, so I manifested the feria. So of course we left the bus stop, hit the corner, and the feria is here. Que rico, what's up? Oi! Hola, buenas. Ay, sí, ¿te gusta? Yo, yo, pizza. Saludos, al más allá. Buena idea. Qué rico. Qué grande. ¿Pasó a mí? Rico. Rico, rico. 
Los Flores. Que lindo. Alright, we're just eating our way through the market over here. And we got some caña de azúcar. How are we doing? Uh -huh. bien? The options here is incredible. Muchas opciones. Everything is so cheap. So cheap. Alright, chao. Vamos, vamos, look at this. Sí. Ay, ay, qué rico. Ew. Right after our two hour tour of the city and the bus station, we're getting ready to jump on the bus and head to Presa Alone. So in about a short four hours, we should be arriving at our destination. We're gonna check out this car and we're gonna be libre. Let's see. See where we go from there. California. All right, we're about to head on the freeway to Los Perez Celo. So we got about four hours. I'm gonna pull out the computer, try to get some work done, and probably take a siesta. stop out here in Preselodon. This is the other side. Right here waiting for an Uber. The Uvia continues. This is uh, farther south. We're almost down in Vita, Dominical. And uh, yeah, the rain is huge. It persists down here a lot longer than it does in
made it back from the Abogado. Sue and G are now the proud owners of this beautiful 1986 Suzuki Samurai. Is that what it is? That it is. A few more adjustments to make over here at the Tayer. The loose. Oi, it's my camera. Oi, 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 oi. Hey. I know it's so cute. Listo. Llantas nuevos. Gracias, chicos. Uy. Gracias. Okay. Awesome. Alright, buenos dias a todos. Today is Sunday. It is the final day of our trip here collecting Mike Wazowski, the green bandit over here. Uh, so last night we stayed at Hotel Montecito, which is out here in Perez Celadon because we did not make it to Dominical. We were supposed to make it to Dominical, but because we had a few other things to do with the car, we ended up staying up here having an amazing dinner at uh, Vikingos which was great. It's like a steakhouse. Um, so now we got to go get an alignment on the car and then we need to hit the road and try to make it back up to Colbano and Punta Arenas today because tomorrow is a work day and uh, we have about seven hours to go. So long trip ahead. We got to get started. So. down the hill from Breselodon to Dominical. Now the beach out here is really rough but it is beautiful, beautiful today. This giant rio that's coming from the mountains and straight to the ocean.
Samurai has performed incredibly well thus far on the trip, the <laughs> first leg. Stopping to take a look at the beach. The playa. Woo! She's ready for the next sticker. The first leg at Athena. Alright. Action! Skudgy! This looks so cool. Alright. Certified. <laughs> just sitting over here getting ready to leave and a whole flock of just scarlet macaws just came flying over here. Look amazing. Alright, we got another five and a half hours to go, so we're gonna hit the road and get going. Woo! It's a mius. I touched down from all angles. We now made it to Hot Gold. Came down to grab a bite to eat, just take a little bit of a break, about an hour and a half in the ferry. And it is 12.30, so we're gonna check out the street a little bit, find a snack, and then hit the road. Try to catch that ferry. Hi, La Playa! Vamos a La Playa! Oh, hey, it's probably like half the price. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> On our way back from Coco, now we're gonna hit up Tarcoles, La Puente de Cocodrilos, Crocodile Bridge, out here in Tarcoles. Been here one time before. Uh, it was really late at night. Well, it was really late at night. It was like sunset and you couldn't really see much, but the Rio is flowing super fast right now, so I'm not quite sure how many cocodrilos will be out here. We're about to find out. Puente de Cocorrilos! Oh my gosh, it's so bright out here. My eyes are hurting. So bad, I can't even make direct eye contact. Thanks again for watching this episode of the Free Range Squad. Until our next adventure, Pura Vida.